Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Techie Scientist, and in this video, we are going to say, Hey Google, turn on my computer. And Google is going to turn on our computer by magic. Uh, well, not exactly. So, the one of the main things we're going to use here is Home Assistant. And the Home Assistant server is running on my Raspberry Pi 3B. So, I'm just logging into the web server. As you can see, I have a nice little dashboard with weather info and such and such. Like a battery level. And Home Sense, just in case you want to know, in, in this case, it's basically just an old phone where I've downloaded the Home Assistant app and I'm using it to just to record my in room temperature. And the first thing we're going to have to do is go to Supervisor and go to the add on store and install something called as File Editor because we're going to need this file editor to edit the configuration.yaml of the Home Assistant interface that we are going to define a little bit something called as wake on lan this wake on lan will contain the mac address of the pc as you are going to see now since i have already entered it you can see it over there under the wake on lan the switch is the name of the identity or the identity so as you can see the platform is wake on lan i think you can yeah you probably know about wake on lan or if you are not you can just go ahead and google about it so basically just have to put platform wake on lan and get the mac address of the pc uh, and make sure may hopefully the PC has uh, Wake on LAN compatible wireless uh, card and the motherboard as well as the CPU and you have to enable it as I will see I'll show you in the video a few minutes later into the video and uh, as you can see you just have to enter the MAC address of the PC and the name in case you want to identify the switch later on and just save it and close the file. And go back to configuration scroll down until you see server controls and scroll down until you see restart and we're gonna have to have restart the thing to uh, let the home assistant server identify the new wake on land feature which you have just defined so once it says connection lost you just have to wait for a while do something useful or something nice like going to discard And maybe you should check out my Discord server as well in this time where you wait for it to restart. I'll be giving the link in the description and it's already there in my channel page, about page. You can check it out. It's a real nice server. It's growing. It's got some very nice people in it. And I think once it's done, you just have to uh, scroll back to the original Lovelace dashboard. And in case you didn't know, Home Assistant uses the port 8132, so make sure you are specifying that when you are trying this. And I also assume that you have already installed Home Assistant. If not, there are tons of tutorials online already. You can refer that. So next thing we want to do is create a switch. And scroll down until you see the utility or the identification which you have created named Start PC one It's a switch. And as you can see, you can see that. Just have to click it. And in case you want a name, say wake on LAN. And that's it. If you save it and you click the button, the PC should start on. Uh, provided you have done the next steps, which I will show in the next clip. Since I already have it, I'm just going to delete it. This is just the first step. In the later, later of the video, we are going to be utilizing Google Assistant to do the same for us with just a voice command. I'm just going to stop the screen recording here. Alright, so we are back at the Windows PC and I've plugged in Ethernet to it. I'm just gonna start it. And once the thing comes up, just click F2 to go to the BIOS settings. As you can see, I'll probably zoom in, in a second. Just scroll down to power management and scroll down to something called Wake on LAN. And I've already enabled it as you can see. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Uh, there you go, you can see it clearly. And since it's already a LAN only or enabled for that matter, I'm just going to put it again and click apply and exit it, exit the BIOS. And it's going to start over again. So just wait for it to start up and then I'll put it back to shutdown state. Oh boy, my PC just boot little fast, even on a hard drive. 
animals. All right, so we are back at the lock screen. Just gonna go in and shut it down quickly so we can proceed with the next step. Okay, so it's done. Yay. I'm just gonna show you that uh, switch button which we created, remember? So I'm just gonna show you how it's gonna boot once I click it. So uh, I'm just gonna zoom out the camera a little bit so you can see the entire laptop and the signs of light on the caps lock button. So in a minute, I'll just click the button. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. And there you are, you can see the sign of light, light on the caps lock and there you have it, the PC just posted. So I never did anything, I never went close to it or anything, it's just purely booting from Wake on LAN. It is kind of magic too. Alright, so we are back at the Home Assistant Server interface. Uh, we are here to integrate it with the Google Assistant. So we can just order the Google Assistant to do this automatically. So what you need to do is create your own Nabu Casa account, which is basically a sister company but founded by the same uh, people who founded the Home Assistant open source thing. So you just have to scroll down, once you create the account, just scroll down to the Google Assistant tab or is there a button or whatever you call it, just enable it and sync entities to Google. If you do that, all the controllable things like LEDs, lights, fans and whatever you've already, smart devices you've already set up to the Home Assistant will be automatically integrated to the Google Assistant. As you can see, these are all which I have. Right now what we need is this switch called Stock PC1. As you can see, it's enabled and exposed to the Google Assistant. And don't worry, this is perfectly safe. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg or somebody else <coughs> is not going to come and steal in your data. It's completely safe. Okay, so now that it's done, you just have to go to the Google Home app on your phone. And if you have already connected the Raspberry Pi or this Home Assistant server, you're going to be seeing Setup Nabu Casa. Go into it and log in with your Nabu Casa credentials and you're going to be fine. I just logged into Google Assistant and see the magic happen. Turn on Stark PC1. Okay, turning Stark PC1 on. Yay, there we are. Our PC has booted only with the wake on LAN and connected to the Google Assistant. So just come into the home or the room, let's say, hey Google, turn on my computer, which is in this case a frame meter start PC1, and boom, it's gonna boot it up for you. That's it. It's as simple as that. So if you guys enjoy this video and learn something new, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you can see notifications. And until next time, I'm the Techie Scientist. Goodbye.